Thank you, Christine, for showing us that amazing Ruse Bahan. And now we're with Roxy, who's going to take it to a whole other level. Hi, Roxy, how are Hello. you? Hello, thank you very much. What do you? you do here at Chester Beatty? So uh, I'm an art facilitator here. Okay. So I make video tutorials and I teach here. I mm. teach drawing and some other stuff. Great. And you have been inspired by the Ruse Bahan. You're, you've made a little activity for us, haven't you? Yes, I do. Uh, I love that book. And today, particularly, I work on paper design inspired oh. by Ruse Bahan. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> what is it about Ruse Bahan particularly that inspires you as an artist? Um, the page design and patterns, like yeah. details in patterns and how they would do it in like traditional studios, kind of group work and all these things and lots of gold leaf oh. used. So I'm a fan of using gold mm. in my works. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, shell gold, shell but gold. Um, uh, it's not possible for everybody to find gold leaf and they might not be interested to do it. So we use like chocolate wrap as a gold leaf. Yeah. But I'm going to demonstrate just to show how much effort they would put in you, um, like painting these manuscripts in old times. Oh, fantastic. So I show that and uh, after that I prepare my paper yeah. using black tea. Oh, black tea. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so there's another use for tea, not just yeah, for drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it gives uh, my paper a very nice color and it looks vintage and old. Lovely. And then yeah. we're going to be making patterns then afterwards. Uh, yeah, uh, we use collage technique, uh, oh. coloured paper. Great. Yeah. Well, let's get cracking then, will we? Okay. Today we are going to um, work on a page design. Um, I have this paper and I'm going to fold it and design it inspired by Ruz Behan mm. Quran in Chester Beatty. Lovely. Uh, which mm. is a really beautiful manuscript, as I'm sure you saw it. It's stunning. It's yes, really stunning. it is. So it's just inspiration. So I'm not going to do exactly what they used to do in traditional studios. But uh, I start with black tea. Uh, I brewed some black tea before. Just, just to save some yeah, time. Just tea bags? Yeah, tea bags. You can find okay. it anywhere. In How long did you leave that brew for then? Um, a long time because I wanted to get really... Um, the tannins. Uh, yes, yeah. like the good colour out of it. So okay. probably one hour. Oh, well that's not a lot. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. Yeah, good, yeah. A good cup of tea. Yeah, a good strong yeah, cup of tea. Exactly. Okay. So, no, um, milk. No, milk. <laughs> no, no, no milk. No milk. So I'm going to use this big brush. By the way, this paper is uh, a bit thicker than normal A4 paper. It's okay. like multimedia okay. paper. I bought it in shop. A normal art shop. Yeah, you can find it anywhere. Uh, you can use watercolor paper, but not really grainy. Yeah. And yes, yeah, smoother is better. Okay. So and as you see, it gets color when yeah. I coat it. Yeah. If you want a bit darker. You put two or three coats. If you want it light, just one coat. And is this to coat, age the paper we're doing it? Uh, yeah, doing it, it looks like vintage. Like in yeah. traditional ways, they um, use it for color, and then they used to add a layer of egg white uh, to make the paper really smooth for all those fine lines and contouring like acts they used to do. Yeah, because I saw that the paper on the ruse behind. It's really shiny, isn't it? Yeah, so the how shine. Do they, how do they do that? Yeah, the shine comes from after, like uh, washing with tea or any kind of natural material which is brownish. Then uh, we add a layer of uh, egg white, yeah. and you have to burnish it for hours, really. Um, what's burnishing? So burnishing is a way of making uh, anything smooth uh, without uh, texture or yeah. uh, pores. Um, in uh, old days, they used to use uh, animal's tooth <laughs> as a, for burnishing yeah. because it's really smooth, you know. The but now um, you can find burnishers in some art shops, and they're made of gemstones, gemstones. like agate or yeah, um, yeah any and kind. And you just rub and rub and rub. On yeah, top you of just the rub it, rub and, and, and rub. then when it gets smooth and oh, shiny, lovely. it's ready to go. Lovely. Okay, yeah. but we're not going to do that today. <laughs> no, 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 no. But no. It's, it's good to know that that's how they got the, sh the paper yeah, so shiny. Yeah. 
so it is too light, um, but you can add more codes. Okay. I'll set it aside to demonstrate some uh, like shell, making shell gold. Shell gold, <laughs> what's that? Yeah. So shell gold, uh, when I say shell, I mean actual shell. Oh, an actual I'm shell. going to okay. use this as my like palette, mm -hmm. like uh, because it's um, smooth, it's natural, and uh, the curve helps my color not to get dry quickly. And also it keeps the moist moisture and everything perfectly. So that's the traditional way okay. they used to make paint. This is gold leaf I'm going to use. Um, uh, gold is a very unique and special metal because out of one gram gold I can get three kilometers when I stretch it like a kind of like a thread, gold Three thread. Three kilometers from yeah. one gram? Yes, exactly. That's incredible. So is this pure gold here? Um, no, it's not pure gold. They mix it with some copper and silver. Uh, then um, you, uh, you can stretch it okay. much easier. Oh, a mortar and pestle. Yes, mortar and pestle. I use my finger. Uh, I crush some gold leaf here. Do you use your hand a lot? You do you use your fingers a lot? Uh, yeah, with fingers I can feel the material much better and I know when I crush them are they good or not. But I'm going to use the pestle as well. I need some filtered water and gum arabic. Mm. Um, I add a tiny bit of water, drops, and a tiny bit of gum arabic. What does the gum arabic do? Gum arabic is uh, like a binder. Okay, like a kind uh, of a glue. Exactly. Ish. So I'm using my clean finger and I just... You're just squishing it? Squish until it gets really into... Tiny kind of Yeah. And you're going for kind of dust, are you? Yeah. So the process is like I add one more leaf and I keep crushing. After five or six minutes, or maybe more, depends on the quality of gold leaf you are using, uh, I'm going to soak it with water, filtered water. And I leave it for 24 hours. It soaks down all the powder, kind of gold, actual gold, it soaks down. Then I rewash it. So I wash it two or three times. First time 24 hours, second time like eight hours, and third time I let it uh, to get air dried. And I will have something like this. That's the final product. Gosh, it's, it's very labor intensive, isn't it? Yeah. So the people that were involved in the Rusbahan script manuscript, they would have yes. had a procedure like that. Exactly, well. how uh, they used to make like gold powder for coloring. And then I add a little bit of gum arabic and water and a small brush to paint. And that becomes the paint? The gold parts, Lovely. yes. Lovely. So that was the demonstration. Now let's go back to our paper. Mm. It should be dry now. Mm -hmm. And I start the design. Excellent. So this is the paper after drying? Yes, that's my paper. I coated uh, two or three times. It's completely dry. And uh, as you see, it's not as smooth as it should be because I'm not, not going to um, use burn shit with the egg white. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know it. Yeah. I do. It's, I um, no, I didn't burnish it. It's just tea. But in um, traditional old studios, they used to add a layer of egg white yeah. on top of this yeah. and burnish it with um, animals' tooth. Wow. Um, these days you can find burnishers uh, in some art shops made out of gemstones. Yeah. Mm. So, and then you have to burnish it really well. It gets shiny mm. and smooth. Mm, lovely. Okay. Um, ready for manuscripts. Anyway, so I need a ruler, um, a little bit of geometry, but nothing too much okay. uh, involved in this workshop. So you have got some pencils there and rulers and razors. Yes, I have. Uh, shapes. Yeah, I have um, these templates: a set square, a ruler. So you're using a brown pencil there. I'm using a brown pencil because um, it's just nicer with this. Yeah, with this colors. brown I yeah, color. So, so where do you start? So I start to divide my page ah. uh, into two parts. In, in uh, like, if you want to 
look at traditional old manuscripts. They have this kind of symmetrical yeah. design. We don't have to do exactly the same, uh, especially when it comes to coloring. But now I'm going to create a margin, um, some parts for writing, and uh, a head paper, oh, headpiece, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, very yeah, important yeah. in uh, traditional manuscript. So let's say now my paper is uh, about 30 centimeters, yeah. like the length. Uh, so I would say there is no rule or special measurement for this. I'm going to draw a rectangle here. It's 19 centimeters. I use my set square because I want straight lines. Straight lines, yes. of course, and the set square is great for that because yeah. we can do our And right I'm going angles. to leave some parts here yeah. because then I'm going to add some Ooh, lovely. Uh, shapes. So it shouldn't be right in the middle. I'm, I'm starting now right into my main paper because I already know what I'm going to do. But it's really nice if they do it in a collaborative yeah, way. Yeah, and they try out things yes, and they decide and, uh, sketch, finally. Very good. Uh, yeah. To find out, for example, this rectangle should be right in the middle, closer to the right, closer to the left, uh, on top, you know, low. It's just uh, exactly like what graphic designers yeah, do. Yeah, it is graphic days. design, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's what they were doing back in the day in, in the Ruse Yes, weren't they? exactly. The, it was a group work. So uh, some people were in charge of designing the paper, some people preparing the paper, uh, calligraphers, yeah. um, pattern designers, yeah. uh, people in charge with um, gilding. Then I'm going to mirror this. On the other side? Uh, yeah, rectangle on the other side. You make it look so easy, Roxy. It is easy, though, is it? Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, the difficult part. It's not difficult. Actually, the most pleasant part is when they talk to each other about yeah. the page. Like, how should it be? Like, yeah, how it should uh, all come together? Yeah, and I'm exactly. sure they had many conversations like that. Yes, didn't they? yes. And they, and in the classroom, that's what we should be doing as well in this yeah. workshop. Yeah. You're checking yeah. your measurements, are you? Yeah. There? Yeah. yeah. So they're the same on one side of the page as the other. It's yeah. a mirror image. Yeah. So, now. Nah. Okay. One of the part I really want to talk about is the head part. We call it like a head piece. A head piece. The mm. head piece. Oh, there yeah. is a very popular um, shape. Shape. Uh, in the headpiece named uh, Mihrab. Mihrab. Uh, yeah, Mihrab. Mihrab is actually, it has a nice meaning. It's an Arabic word. Uh, I, my pronunciation is Persian, by the way. They might call it Mihrab. Oh, okay. But okay. I say Mihrab. Mihrab. Uh, so, um, Mihrab is a part in a temple or a mosque, like for private prayers, like, uh, that corner you can go and pray for yourself. And this is the shape of the arc okay. of that little room uh -huh. uh, in a mosque. So I just designed a few samples. Oh, they're lovely. Now we are going to talk about how to design a mihrab or headpiece. Um, straight line. Yeah. Uh, any size depends on your paper. I so I'm going to use a plate yeah. as a template. Okay. Like to draw half circle, it shouldn't be real half, like yeah, it's a, a little semi circle. Half, yeah. yeah. So. Okay, we can do that. Start point. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to divide this In into two. two equal parts. Ruler again. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? It's great for max. Yeah. Eight centimeters in the middle. I use my set, set square. square. That's. A straight line up. Straight line up. Now, I just designed one part uh -huh. because then I'm going to fold it and oh, cut it. So you don't have to do good. just this symmetrical thing. So uh, the inspiration comes from the arcs. Even they can get inspired by any kind of arc in churches, like Gothic arc. Um, you know, you can find this kind of mihrab. Um, 
in any kind of temple, doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a mosque or... So that's, for example, one yeah, kind of yeah, design. Yeah, yeah. The other one can be just simple. Just straight down. Straight down. Or I can um, add like more kind Squiggled. of... Yeah. So it really, we are doing something contemporary, never forget. Like they can be creative, as creative as, as possible. They want to be. Yes. Yeah. So like yeah. things like this. Yeah. So they can add flowers, oh they lovely. can do yeah. anything they want to. One side folds and we cut the headpiece. Now I'm not going to go exactly similar headpieces. So for example, I want to have this headpiece here and this one on Very the other nice. side. Yeah. So I use the glue. The gum arab? Oh, glue, actual glue. Yeah. Okay. I use the glue to attach this. Head pieces. That's easy. Yeah, that's very easy. So I'm going to show you this. This is just a chocolate bar. Mm. <laughs> so uh, you can find the chocolates everywhere, really. And I'm going to use the wrap. So I can use silver, paper, gold, any kind of shiny colors. They fine. I leave the chocolate aside. So that's what I'm going to use instead of gold leaf in this one. One of the other things they should pay attention when they design the page is they used to lots of marginal parts. And this would be nice to do on the inside of your notebooks or, you know, yeah, like exactly. it's a way to decorate your, you know, if you have like a, a notebook. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good example. They can even make like a thank you card, Christmas card, yeah. something like that using this kind of design. And it really depends on them how much they want to go into details. Today, I keep it simple, just a kind of graphic way, but they can like work on it and do all the patterns. So let's say uh, I make a table here for some writing. And now I want to be even more creative. Yeah, so one of the things um, you see in uh, old manuscripts, especially Persian manuscripts, is like they have the border, but uh, they break through it and uh, they have a shape like a tree or any kind of shape. And that goes, goes out. out. I'm going to use this okay. as a template yeah. because what I have here is a bit small. Draw a circle. I don't need to draw two because, as I said, you always use this. I oh, fold that's it, really, yeah, yeah, really smart. And I cut it. So then I have two equal size circles for both circles pages. For both pages, yeah. Again, it's nice to cut stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it, it has a very good feeling. Yeah, I, I love cutting you know, stuff. Yeah. So now so we have two circles, brilliant. And they're going to break circles. the And border. now, again, they can decide about yeah. where, like here, a bit lower, maybe here. Yeah. You know, it's all about Placement. how it's more pleasant on the eyes. And, okay, I use the glue. And... Touch these two pieces. Yeah, I use my eyes, I don't measure yeah. really, like, but they can use their rulers if they want to. So now I'm going to add some more uh, decoration and ornaments to my page. Again, this is the part they can, they should talk to each other and decide. I have too many different options. I'm going to use a blank paper just to show now, for example. In this, when they come like with something like this, now it's time again to decide. So I have this 
page, let's say it's sketching. I have this head, I have this part for writing, I have the circle yeah. here, okay? Yeah. Now, what should I do next? Hmm. So, I can get inspired from nature, like something like this. Lovely. And I can repeat all these the way patterns down. all the way down. Or I can mix it with something more like, like triangles, triangle. more sharp, like yeah. in um, contrast yeah, with yeah. this uh, soft curved like pattern. Or I can even get more creative and add something inspired by, by some animals or whatever. So when they decide about what kind of decoration they want to add to the paper, then they can again draw it on different kind of cards, papers of or cards. They cut, cut it out. and they attach. Lovely. So it doesn't have to be symmetrical really, because as you see now, we have these, yeah. these two are different. I want it for the circles to be symmetrical. There is no rule because we are doing something contemporary, just inspired by Ruth Bahan. But they can do actually absolutely symmetrical pages. So it's up to them. So this is the part, as I said, they have to talk and decide, and this is the part of designing the page. So I'm going to show you some I'm going to show you some samples. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're beautiful, Roxy. So, oh, they're stunning. Um, I attach bits and pieces. Then I use marker or yeah, pen. Color them in. Uh, I can go more into details. That's just the base. Yeah. I can add writing. Yeah. I can add a piece of painting. Oh, um, look, that's very like what we have now. It's very. Yeah, this yeah. is um, yeah. actually I use gold, uh, shell oh, gold here. Lovely. So I painted it. Um, and look at that, all this of these one. Then I use uh, my pen to add yeah. all these little. See, now here the border, this side, the marginal part is different size yeah. from uh, right to left. So, um, oh, I painted the middle part. Um, so this is just normal A4 paper. I didn't use T on this just to show the design. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Thanks so much, Rox. That was great. So now you know how the pages of the Ruzbahan were put together and you can make your very own. If yeah. you'd like to know more about this particular workshop or anything to do with Chester Beauty, why don't you come in and visit us? Or you could check other workshops online on the website www.chesterbeauty.ie. You should also follow them on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook too. So that's us for now. See you. See you again sometime. Bye. Thank you. Bye.